In this video, I will be showing you how to draw the solution of the above tangency problem. To draw the above tangency problem, first you have to draw the layout this way. It is easier to start with this center line. As you can see, the distance between this line and this line is 100 mm, and the distance between this line and this line is 25 mm. There is a cycle of radius 9 mm on this point. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 9 mm and draw the cycle. From the question, you will observe that there is a tangential arc here that intersects this cycle externally. Since the radius of this cycle here is 9 mm and the radius of the, of the tangential arc is 140 mm and it is an external arc, so we we'll add 140 plus 9 which will give us 149 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 149 mm. Then I will place my compass on this point, that is the center of this cycle. Then cut an arc. The distance between this point and the point where the tangential arc starts is a distance of 10 mm. So I will mark 10 mm there. Finally, I will adjust my compass to the radius of the tangential arc, which is 140 mm. Then I will place my compass on the point where the arc cut this line. Then I will cut arc. The arc should intersect the previous arc I cut. With the same radius of 140 mm, I will place my compass on the point where the arcs intersect. Then I will produce the tangential arc. On this side, there is another arc of radius 105 mm. The arc has the same center as this one. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 105 mm and produce the arc. Just above this cycle here, there is a cycle of radius 8 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 8 mm and produce the cycle. To produce the cycle, I will place my compass on the point where this cycle intersects this vertical line. That is the, the, the intersecting point. Then I will cut an arc on the vertical line this way. Then with the radius of 8 mm, I will place my compass on the point where the arc I just cut intersect this line. Then I will produce the cycle. There is an arc of radius 100 mm intersecting the top of this cycle here. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 100 mm. Then since the center of, this arc, of the arc is this point here, I will place my compass on the point.
then I will produce the arc. There is an arc on this point. The radius of the arc is 6 mm and is intersecting this arc internally. So we'll, so we'll minus 6 from 100 because the radius of this arc here is 100 mm. If we minus 6 from 100, we will get 94 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 94 mm. Then I will place my compass on this point here. Then I will produce the arc. Also, the arc here is intersecting this arc externally. So, since the radius of this arc here is 105 mm and the radius of the arc here is 6 mm, I will add 6 and 105. If we add 6 and 105, we will get 111 mm. So, I will adjust my compass to a radius of 111 mm. And with a radius of 6 mm, I can now produce the 6 mm arc. At this point here, there is, there is an arc of radius 15 mm. To produce the arc of radius 15 mm, I will first draw a line 15 mm from this line and parallel to it. To do so, I will adjust my compass to a radius of 15 mm. Then I will place my compass at any random point on my line. Then I will cut arc this way. I will also place my compass on another point on the line. After that, I will draw a line across the top of the axe. So this line is 15 mm from this line and parallel to it. Since the radius of the arc I want to produce has a radius of 15 mm and the radius of this arc here is 105 mm and the arc intersects this arc internally so I will minus 15 from 105. 105 minus 15 will give me 90 mm so I will adjust my compass to a radius of 90 mm. Then I will place my compass on this point. And cut arc on the parallel line. Since the radius of the arc is 15 mm, I will adjust my compass to a radius of 15 mm. Then I will place my compass on the intersecting point of the arc. Then I will produce the tangential arc. Since from here to here in the in the question is 112 mm, so I will adjust my compass to a radius of 112 mm and mark the point. Then I will draw vertical line downward to meet this line here.
I will also draw the vertical line from this point downward to meet that same line. So this is the solution to the above tangency problem. Now all that is left is for me to make bold the parts that are supposed to be bold and complete the dimension. So this is it, the solution to the above tangency problem. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you are having challenge with any of your engineering drawing or technical drawing assignment, you can send the question to the WhatsApp number displayed. I will solve the questions and send a video of the solution to you. It's completely free, it will not cost you a dime.